Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Star Cub Review. I'm your host, as always, Star Cub. And today's one is going to be a simple and easy one, and it is a book review. Um, now, this has been a long time coming because I, I have I've only just finished reading it uh, after it's been on my agenda for a long time to read. But um, finally read it, and it is Alien. And it's the original screenplay by Dan O'Bannon, the original screenplay that he originally set up um, to be used in the film, ultimately didn't, but has been made into a graphic um, novel as such, or a graphic comic as such. And I have to say, um, I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna leave that um, for the minute and just say a big, huge thank you to everyone that has been tuning in uh, and still tunes in. Thank you so much to everyone brand new that um, has been picking my videos to watch. I really, really am thankful. Uh, been seeing it over the last couple of days, my views going up and people that are not subscribed, subscribe. Um, you never know, you may like what you see with more videos down the track. I'm, I'm happy just as it is. It really, um, really is making me happy to know that people are watching my videos, so. That is really, really good. Now, let's get into it. So, this neat little graphic novel book was different. I, I would, it is very, very different. Um, his original screen, Dan O'Bannon's Dan O'Bannon, original screenplay is very, vastly different to what we get in Alien in 1979. Um, Big notable changes is the fact that um, all the crew are completely different names, um, don't resemble Ripley or anybody whatsoever. Um, the other setting is the original creature was not called a xenomorph at all, it was called a star beast. Um, the other thing is when they land on the planet, it is they come across a, a ship that looks vastly different to the one that we get in the movie. And there's also a pyramid structure there. The beast, the creature that they see in the inside of the structure is vastly different. Um, let me just pull up a picture for y'all to see, cause you would not have expected this. It's, it, 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 it works and it also doesn't work. Um, in a way, but this basically is inside the ship, they come across, if you can see it, they come across that, vastly different to the space jockey that we see in the movie. Not to mention the actual thing that attaches itself to the character in this portrayal and not um, came is the egg is actually like a sort of like a basket as such and the creature comes out of it and the creature is not anything like a face hugger whatsoever is completely different and then the creature at the end being the star beast instead of the xenomorph is vastly different as well but it looked the design of it looks absolutely sick um I'll pull up an image there. That's what the star base looks like. It, 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 the writing and the setting and that is just vastly different um, to what we see in Alien. It works in some ways and in others, it's a little confusing as well as to because it jots all over, it's like you can see that there had to have been more um, in it. The chest burster scene is completely different as well. Um, it, I, I enjoyed it for what it was, and Dan O'Bannon does, uh, does have a great vision in this. It, it does work, but it, it feels like too that this one, his original screenplay, comes off a bit more like, uh, I wanna say, you can see elements of Prometheus, I, I want to say. Not um, in the way, that, like, the engineers or anything like that. 
it's more how they um, come across the pyramid structure and the spaceship. Um, it, it feels a bit Prometheus-like um, there. But other than that, Dan O'Bannon does a great job of the story and everything. Vastly different and way... Uh, it just it, it ends way differently to um, Alien. Um, but there's... All the characters are different. There's no synthetic. There's... Yeah, well, there's no Ash. There's no synthetic, obviously. Um, Ripley is a completely different character and doesn't resemble anything of Ripley at all. And the other characters... Well, we get a bit of character development, but not much. Um, obviously, because they're cannon fodder, obviously. Um, but I did like it for what it is. The... Um, the actual uh, graphics and that in this is very, very, very well done. The aesthetically wise, it it, it pays off. Um, story wise, it's a little weak, I think, and you don't see the alien, you don't see the star beast in it a lot. Um, it's very, very different to how it pans out in Alien, vastly different. Um, but I will say, Dan O'Bannon does have a great vision, and it's great to see that. Uh, Cristiano uh, CX and uh, Gilhermi uh, Belby um, really bring his vision um, to life, his original screenplay, which is fantastic. Um, but I prefer the original Alien over Dan O'Bannon's version of it. It just, it comes, it's a very, it, you can see lots and lots of elements of Alien in it, and eventually that's what it becomes, but there's some choices in it that was just too confusing for me, I think, um, in terms of what was going on. Um, should have been a lot, should have been expanded a bit more, I think, but for what it is, it's, it's fine. Um, didn't get to spend a lot of time with the actual creature in the ship, um, would have liked to have seen a bit more of that. Um, the space jockey as such in this one. Um, but they don't actually say that at all or mention that. But the alien, the space jockey looking thing in this is ama pretty amazing. Um, but Ridley Scott, ultimately Ridley Scott's version of Alien is far superior to Dan O'Bannon's, I think, original screenplay. It just... Some things uh, should have been expanded upon a little bit more. Some things should have been explained a bit more um, and a little bit more character development. But I think ultimately what lets it down is the use of not seeing the um, Star Beast enough to really, uh, towards the end, you, sh should see, you should have seen a lot more of it as it ramps up towards the end. Um, but I can see why it ultimately wasn't used and Ridley Scott ultimately got the version that he got. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, if anyone um, wants um, to get it, um, I got it off eBay. It wasn't very much, but um, I might uh, do a competition down the line or a um, like a weekly thing. Um, like a competition down the line, if anyone would like this, um, please let me know, email me, and let me know if you're interested in it. And I may run a competition to see um, who who gets it. I don't know, I, I'm not quite sure, because it's, it's a really, uh, anyone that wants it in the Alien collection would be perfect. Um, I, I've had it in my Alien collection for a while, but it just doesn't really fit my whole other rest of my Alien stuff and I've read it and I'm probably not going to revisit it again. But for anyone that wants, uh, that's interested in it, uh, wants me to run a competition for it, um, for a winner to get it, um, let me know how you feel about that, if it's worth it. Um, if not, I'll just keep it in my collection for a while longer and then sell it down the track. Um, ultimately, there's a few things in my Alien collection that um, I, I'm not definitely getting rid of, but there are a few things on my Alien collection that I just don't uh, 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 I just don't need. Um, but I've I've had them for so many years now; it's like their value is going up and up and up. So I'm, you know, 
being an alien collector as it is, I'll just keep going with what I've got, basically. Other than that, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Um, it's been great um, sharing this one with you. Now, what do I give this? My rating for this is probably a 6 out of 10. I enjoyed it, but it's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought his was going to be a little bit vastly different. It is, in some respects, it is a vastly, vastly different. But I think some more things needed to be expanded upon um, to really get the full scope of it. But other than that, 6 out of 10. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. And I'll catch you all with another video down the track. All right, guys, take it easy. Ciao.